Hi, so I'll be going over the umpire process for um, this anagram substring problem. So for understand, so we're given, um, so our input is that we're given two strings, strA and strB. Then our output, it's, um, true or false, depending on that, if um, strb is um, an anagram of a substring of stra, so it has to be like a continuous substring of stra. Um, so strb has to be an anagram of like a continuous substring of stra. And then, so for uh, some examples, so we have um, here come here come dots and lines that helped build America and the Morse code. All right, so our anagram is the Morse code. Um, then, if we look at um, if we look at STRA, we're looking for um, if STRB is a substring of STRA. Um, and I mean, I've gone through the problem before, so if we go through this one, so H, we have H, E, E, R, R, E, E, C, C, O, O, M, M, E, E again, D, uh, D, O, O again, T, and S. So here come dots. So the Morse code is an anagram of this one, of uh, this substring. Um, and obviously, as you can see, it's not um, case sensitive either. So this one would be uh, true. This would be true. And then if we have something like crowd, and word. Uh, so we're giving crowd and word. So word w o r d, then crowd r o w d. So uh, word is an anagram of round, right? That's substring. So that would be true. Um, but if we have, there is no anagram here, and some word, right? So um, there isn't any substring. And SDRA that is an anagram that STRB is an anagram of. So uh, if we look through it, we'd find we wouldn't find anything. So we would return false. And so for match, um, yeah. So I mean, I've worked on this problem, right? So I think like I don't have a particular solution that I've uh, thought of like that I can think of that would apply that would work for this problem, but I think this problem uses like Boolean flags or at least the way I'm thinking about doing it. Boolean flags. Um, we need to like remove white space, uh, make strings lowercase, uh, because it's not, um, case doesn't matter, right? So comparison is not case sensitive. Um, and input string sizes vary, but um, this problem does it for us, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Um, and then I would just say like sorting, sorting strings, um, and loops, break statements, right? So um, those are where some of the tools that I'm thinking about using, but I don't really have um, a solution that uh, I have in mind for this problem. And so for plan, so my plan is that I will remove uh, white space and from both strings and make strings lowercase. Um, then create a boolean flag, right? A boolean flag. Then use a loop that goes. Um, that iterates over string A, st 
string a and um, and goes until while flag the flag is false. Um, and then so we check if the char at the index of the of string A uh, is in string B. Then if it is, um, if it is, we use an inner loop. We'll use an inner loop to um, iterate over string A. And then um, if, if a char from string A isn't in string B, then we want to, then we'll break out of the loop and we'll, we'll break out of the loop. Um, but so if we reach the end of the inner loop, um, so if you reach the end of the inner loop um, and the sorted strings of um, i to j, so our, well, I always use i to j, but of the first index, uh, or we could say the index of the outer loop to the index of the inner loop. So we have a substring from the outer loop index where we started to the inner loop index. And the sorted um, string B are equal. So if the substrings of um, our outer loop index and our inner loop index are equal to the sorted string of string B, then we can uh, change our flag to true. Um, otherwise, our flag will start with false, right? So create a Boolean flag um, that equals false. So we put that, change our flag to true. Then we just want to return our flag. Okay. So let's see. So now we're in the implement stage. So we don't have to check the string sizes because this problem already did it for us. Um, so we can go ahead and remove uh, white space and make them both lowercase. So we can say, we'll just change S, uh, STRA first. So equals A and then we'll use replace. So we replace any white space. Uh, we just remove it basically, but we're using replace. And then lower. And also make it lowercase. Um, then star B, same thing. Uh, I should just copy it probably. <coughs> mm -hmm. Right. Then paste. Then star B to lower. Um, and removing white space. And I'm going to be using while loops. Um, so I can have more control over the indexes. Um, and then so i equals zero and then found equals false. So we create our Boolean flag and then we'll create our loops. So while i is less than, um, so we're iterating over uh, a. And then while we don't find um, an anagram right for the well, we're finding that our anagram um, doesn't equal any substrings, uh, like in any order. So 
So while our anagram doesn't equal um, any substrings in any order, and then <coughs> we're just checking to see if any char in the in str a in string a um, is in b because it has to be in any order, right? So if str i is in str b, like any order. And we create a new variable for our inner loop. And then so we'll iterate over um, string A. <laughs> and then so if um, any char um, from A is not in B, right? So we're just iterating over string A saying if that any um that the whole substring matches string uh, b but if we don't find if we find one that doesn't match right because it has to be a continuous substring then we just want to break out of the loop um and then you know we need to keep increasing uh, our index so we don't um have an infinite loop then if we get to the end of this while the inner while loop so we'll check, uh, we'll sort the substrings. Um, so we'll go from, so if we were able to reach the end, that means that every char in the first uh, string is in the second um, string. So, but then obviously it can be in any order, right? So we want to sort it. So we'll just sort from I to J. And then we'll just sort um, B as well because we don't know what the order is. So we'll just sort both. And then we'll change our flag to true. Uh, let's see. Uh, and then uh, I just want to have I equal J so that way we can skip over the ones that we have been iterating over already. And then <laughs> also we need to make sure we're increasing our index for our outer loop. Then if we reach the end, um, because if we, um, I don't know what, what I mean actually is at the end that we're just going to return the boolean flag, right? So, um, so if we found a substring, then it should be true. And then we'll break out of here, right? Um, and then return found. But if we never find a substring, um, then this is going to be false. Our boolean flag will be false. So let's check. Yeah, so I was able to pass it. And then <laughs> for evaluate, um, I definitely think this solution I was able to get I was able to solve the problem, but I need to optimize it. So time, I believe the time is O N squared uh, because I use uh, two loops, right? A loop, one outer and one inner, and then it could really take a long time depending on <coughs> the what's it called the length. Of the strings, so our length of string A because I'm mostly iterating on string A, but I'm checking string B as well. So it really depends on the. Uh, this could take a long time depending on the length of the strings. And for space, um, I believe this is O N. Um, but yeah, like I think I need to work on optimizing the solution quite a bit. But thank you. That's my. Solution for anagram string.